let's take a look at the advanced features on the Galaxy Note 10. When you pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now inside of advanced features, you can see everything from the S Pen and everything the S Pen is able to do. So it's a pretty big list versus the past Note devices. For air actions, this is where you can go through and see what happens when you press and hold on the S Pen button. What would you like it to do for function or application? You'll also be able to go down and see your app actions and it's actions per application. So inside your camera, a single press will take a picture or record the video. Double press will do a switch of the camera up, down, left, and right. So you have a lot of different options that you're able to do inside of each individual application, which is a first for the Galaxy Note series. Now you are also able to unlock the phone with the S Pen, but you do have to set a lock screen for that to work. Then you're able to either turn off or turn off the screen off memo. So when the screen is off, you pull out the S Pen. Would you like to write a note or not? And then going inside of AirView, this is what happens when you hover the S Pen over the screen. So you can see more of exactly what it's able to do inside of gallery and you'd also be able to scroll up and down just by hovering it on the top or bottom of a screen you can also check out see if you want to see a pointer so when you hover the s pen over the screen would you like to see the pointer you can have it on or off for air command you can check out all the different shortcuts and you can change what you want to see when you do open up the air command you can either have it on or off for the floating icon so the floating icon when you pull this out would you like to see the little icon floating right there on the right hand side and you can also see is that when you do remove the s pen it automatically opened up the air command so you can go through and you can either have it you know create a note uh, or do nothing so if you are someone who creates a lot of notes you'd be able to have it do create note and then let's say the next time that you actually pull it on out that means that the creating a note will pop up and then you also have the pen proximity alert so it can show a warning if you leave your s pen behind and walk away you can also use multiple s pens if you would like once you turn this on you'll be able to use a couple different s pens so you can keep one probably in the phone and then use another secondary s pen for the feedback you can go through and you can uh, either turn on or off the sounds uh, and also the vibration and then you can also learn more about the s pen features and then next up will be bixby routines basically turning it on turning it off and adding more routines you know such as what would your phone do if you arrived home and then for your side key this is where you can either do the quick launch of the camera open Bixby uh, with a double press or with the press and hold you can have it either do wake Bixby or power off the device over here you have the call and text on other devices make and receive phone calls and text on other Galaxy devices signed into your Samsung account so this can be very important if you use a Samsung tablet you'd be able to make and receive uh, phone calls and everything else if you don't have your cell phone with you or if it's in your pocket you can also link this to your window so connect your phone to your computer so that you can access all your text notifications recent photos and more you also have your smart pop-up view inside of here you'd be able to maybe let's say someone sent you a text it'll be a fast little pop-up view and it won't be the full entire window then you also have your screenshots and screensaver. So you have a screenshot toolbar. And so when you do take a screenshot, it gives you additional options, you know, such as scrolling to capture, crop to draw, add tags, and so on and so forth. And then you have your screen recorder settings where you can do either no sound, media sounds, media sounds with mic, the video quality, but you can also do all of this through the quick settings on the top of the device. Now scrolling down, you can also see your direct share. So when you take a screenshot, it's gonna show your most recent and favorite contacts uh, or, you know, emails and Twitter and Instagram and everything else. So direct share, I love that. You can reduce your animations. Inside of motions and gestures, you have lift to wake, the double tap to wake, smart stay, smart alert, and easy mute. Right over here, you do have the one-handed mode, the palm swipe to capture, and the swipe to call or send text messages. So in here, you can see just a little bit more of what you're able to do with the one-handed mode. You can either do the gestures or with the button. Scrolling down, you can see where it says Game Launcher, so all the games will show up into one folder. You have Dual Messenger, so this way you can have two separate accounts with the same application. You also have Video Enhancer and Send SOS Messages.